This is a algebraic problem, obviously, but the operation that you're about to do is definitely going to pop up on the SAT. I've seen it on every single SAT, so I'm, I can almost guarantee you, you're going to see it. Cross multiplication, that is. So if I have a fraction and then there's an equal sign in the middle, you always want to cross multiply. So that 2 is going to get multiplied that by, by that y, and 3 is going to get multiplied by that 4x. So 3 times 4x is 12x, and 2 times y is 2y. So 12x equals 2y, and my end goal here is to get x over y. So I have totally 12x equals 2y so far. So first thing I want to do is let's get that y down there. So if I divide both sides by y, that y cancels out, and I'm left with 12x over y equals, or that whole thing is over that, so that, that equals 2. Now the only thing left to do is get rid of that 12. So this, that 12 is getting multiplied by x, so I can either divide it by 12, or I can multiply both sides by the reciprocal. So if I multiply 1 over 12 times 12, that cancels out. But remember, I have to do the same on this side. I have to multiply by 1 over 12. So now I'm going to be left with just x over y. So x over y will equal 2 times 1 over 12. 2 times 1 is just 1. Sorry, 2 times 1 is just 2. And 12 in the denominator, because there's an imaginary 1 there. And then 2 divided by 12 is just 1 over 6, so x over y equals 1 sixth. Answer choice C.